All right, we're here in the Coleman's kitchen and I thought I'd show you guys what I'm doing to try to get my groceries to extend to that 14 day mark. So normally we shop every five to seven days at our house. And so when I went last Saturday, I purposely tried to get things that would last me hopefully to that 14 day mark. Also, um, I had been stocking up already on some pantry items to help us hit that. So as we run low on fresh produce, and our go-to um, staples, I thought I'd show you from the pantry side of things what we're going to use to kind of make up for that. So for baked goods, I actually had a hard time finding flour and was almost out already. So I went ahead and got the Kodiak Cakes pancake mix and stocked up on that to make breakfast items with. But also, you, what we're gonna do today is make some muffins and some cookies since we're running low on Are we gonna snacks. Make cookies? And then rice has been harder to find. So I've stocked up on quinoa instead. And today I'm gonna make a quinoa enchilada recipe and then also a peanut butter quinoa recipe. And that way we can have some lunch stuff ready to go because we're getting a little lazy with lunch. And since we're home all the time for all the meals, I wanna make sure we have stuff that's yummy and ready to go. And then other pantry things, I always like to keep salsa on hand. There's a lot of recipes you can make with it. I have a couple in mind that I'll share with you in the comments. And then keeping a good marinara sauce on hand, again, can be used for a lot of recipes. We've used it for um, the typical pizza and spaghetti already, but I'll share with you some recipes for that. And then I've got my canned meats. We've been using those a little bit. We just usually do tuna melts with the tuna. The salmon, I actually don't have on hand what I normally make with it. So if you have any canned salmon ideas, I'm gonna be looking some up as well to see what I can make with what I already have. And then the canned chicken can go a long ways for sandwiches, but if you want to um, get out of the box and not just do sandwiches with it, it goes great in chilies and soups and enchiladas. And I even made a chicken spaghetti with canned chicken. Those really yummy. And then we've got, thankfully, some canned and frozen veggies because like I said, we're running low on fresh. And if we're gonna try to hit that 14 day mark of groceries, we're gonna have to get into our canned and frozen veggies. I also have canned peaches and frozen veggies and berries. And so hopefully that can push us into that 14 day mark. But I'll link recipes for all this stuff. I'm also curious what you guys have been stocking up on and what you've been using in the kitchen during this quarantine. I figured since we're all having to cook a lot of meals, maybe we can share some inspiring recipes with each other.